The K1 Max has been hyped up for about two weeks now, and Creality has finally, finally, finally launched some information on it. We have a launch video here. This guy is just chilling. He's like, oh crap, gotta get my work done quick. So the K1 Max and the K1 basically have the same printing specs. Uh, the difference is the K1 Max comes with a few extra features like LiDAR and stuff. So uh, we're, we're seeing something that we haven't really seen here from the mass market and that's a beautiful final design. Now we've kind of seen that with the likes of the Anchormic M5, uh, the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon kind of, but this is to an even greater extent. This is a printer you could keep in your house and it would just look beautiful. So we've got Core XY technology here. Uh, we've got 32 millimeters cubed per second flow rate. That's gonna help us get up to 600 millimeters per second uh, in terms of the print speed. Uh, 20,000 millimeters per square acceleration. Now all of this is controlled via Clipper, so it appears, or some skin version of Clipper. Creality's kind of been on their Clipper uh, hype train for a little while now with the Sonic Pad. Um, and I think it's really been a great, uh, it's, in my experience, it's been a great uh, just sigh of relief to make printing easy. Um, so hopefully Creality has a good way to integrate all of our machines that are clipper based. Maybe we're going to be able to uh, link up different printers and print from the same file base. I don't know. But um, so that was their launch video. And this is the page that they have now. So we've got the K1 Max and the K1, like I already said. So the K1 is going to be 300 by 300 by 300. And then the K1, or so that's the K1 Max. And the K1 uh, is going to be a little bit smaller. I think it's 250. Let's see. They didn't, they're not, they're not advertising that apparently. Uh, it'll be all the way here at the bottom. So the standard K1 is, wow, they're not even doing that. Okay, it is. Uh, it's going to be 220 by 220 by 250. So it's only uh, the same size as an Ender 3 or maybe slightly bigger. Uh, but it is fully enclosed. Both of them are fully enclosed. And they both have a hot end that's capable of 300 uh, degrees Celsius. So you can print engineering grade materials. You've got a camera somewhere built into the system. This way you can access it from your phone. You can access it from the computer. You can access it from the clipper interface. Um, and that camera detector is going to come with spaghetti detection. And I'm sure with that, it's clipper. You can kind of do whatever you want if you've determined, uh, that a print has failed. Um, so like I already said, uh, your speeds, assuming you can reach the max speeds that they advertise, this is going to be an incredible uh, machine. So we also have a G sensor in there so we can do some calibration to eliminate ringing. Um, I don't know if it's going to be calibrated from factory and how easy it is or isn't going to be to calibrate, but knowing Clipper, it's pretty simple. You just download one simple model, print it, and then it'll be able to, you know, do whatever it needs. Well, it... I don't really know how they're going to integrate it, but, uh, it's in there. Um, anyway, moving on. So, uh, let's see, we already talked about the hot end. Uh, so the LIDAR, so the K1 Max is going to come with LIDAR. It's very obvious that they're taking, uh, some rules from the playbook of Bamboo Labs. A lot of people say the LIDAR isn't really beneficial because it's so good as is without the LIDAR. So a lot of people have that turned off because it just adds time to the print. Hopefully that won't be the case with the K1 Max. Hopefully it actually is beneficial and it does provide some support. Um, if it doesn't, then I'm sure we can just turn it off. Uh, but it will come with a flexible build plate. It's not a PEI build plate from the best that I can tell. Uh, PEI will mess with the LIDAR, especially if it's a textured PEI. Um, but this printer does definitely have a smooth sheet. So maybe it's, you know, maybe they found a way to get, you know, the text or the smooth PEI to work. Don't know. Um, another thing is that Creality is launching a brand new version of their slicer. Uh, I don't know if you're going to need to use it. I really, really hope not because it just doesn't make sense to really ever use a slicer other than one of the, you know, main slicers that's regularly supported. Um, but uh, so they are releasing a brand new slicer. Hopefully, like I said, those profiles can just be ported over to Prusa Slicer, Cura, Super Slicer, whatever you choose to use. Um, and one thing that I thought was that I noticed that I thought was odd, Creality doesn't they didn't launch a multi-material unit with this. So, of course, they're obviously taking, again, the rules from the likes of Bamboo Labs uh, and their playbook. But Creality didn't launch with 
a multi-material system. Now, I don't think Corality's stupid. I'm sure they have one in the works, uh, but they don't have one right now. So uh, we're going to have to stick around and just wait for that. Um, with their new software, you see here multi-printer control. I don't know what that means. Maybe you can print uh, from, you know, files on your local system with Clipper. Maybe they somehow connect and intertwine. I don't know, but that is very exciting. I just don't know how that's going to work out yet. So we've got to see how, uh, how they really interact together. Now, what's good about this is I have both a K1 and a K1 Max on order. They're coming in, or it's not on order. Sorry, I take that back. Creality is sending them to me. Uh, they are going to be in the mail, and I will get both of them, and I can actually test out the functionality of multi-printer control. Um, so the AI camera, of course, is going to tell you whether you have a good or a bad first layer print. This is a very bad first layer print. And actually, we get a good look at the build plate here. This uh, appears to be a very similar build plate to what I have on my Snapmaker. Um, so we'll have to just see what that really looks like when it comes in. Um, there's your camera, there's your AI stuff, here's your failure detection, foreign object detection, real-time monitoring, and time-lapsing. Um, the camera doesn't particularly look amazing for time lapses, so we'll, you know, maybe it'll work, but it looks like it's the same quality as the Bamboo Lab, so, uh, but should work better than nothing, that's for sure. Um, and then, so this is it in a print farm, which if you have multi-printer control, you can see on this printer how, uh, I, I don't really know kind of what multi-printer control means again. This is exciting and it's it's very it's very happy to see, but it could be done very very wrong. So fingers crossed that it ends up working uh, working well. Um, the prints come out absolutely beautiful looking. Assuming none of these were post processed, I find it hard to believe that this was printed at 300 millimeters per second, which they said at the top of the page, uh, and have and has literally no stringing. So we'll just have to see. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to put the link to these pages down in the description below. I want you to go check them out if you have any more uh, questions about uh, about anything here. Don't uh, forget, there is going to be some links at the top here to swap between K1 and K1 Max. Uh, and guys, like I said, I have both uh, coming to the shop or to the print house or to the studio. Yes, to the studio. It's a little early to be talking. Uh, and I will have information and reviews on both of them coming out uh we have the k1 at 599 dollars if you want one order it now because you will get into the back of the line and it'll take a long time for you to get your printer and then we have the k1 max coming in at 999 dollars somewhere down here 999 dollars you cannot purchase this printer yet and i don't even think you can do the pre-order yet it comes out mid uh, May so keep an eye on it anyway guys. I will see you in the next video stick around if you want to see more about these printers